Hey guys and gals, this is uh, Greg Kreinler. I am the artist who painted the portraits for the Negro Leagues Legends baseball card set, which I think might be in this box here. So we're gonna do a little live opening and uh, see what they look like. Now, this package is from uh, Game Time Corp. So those are people who uh, the people who are distributors for this card set. So I do believe that's what it should be. Now this undertaking was an absolute highlight of my career and a highlight of my life, really. Wow. Rube Foster. Wow. The Chicago American Giants. This is very cool. Wow. So this is the box that the cards come in. There's Satchel Page with the Kansas City Monarchs in uh, 1942. Um, this baseball card set honors the players of the Negro Leagues in celebration of the centennial of the founding of the Negro National League on February 13th, 1920 at Kansas City's Paseo YMCA. Uh, and this illustration is actually the Paseo YMCA. So let's open this guy up and see what we got. I will try to not destroy this box. Everything's packed pretty nicely inside. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, this project was really, really one of the highlights of my career and definitely of my life. Uh, just being able to kind of learn about all of these men and women who played in the Negro Leagues and the Latin Leagues and just kind of, you know, being able to, to give people the opportunity to learn about them with me. Uh, these are people who are Hall of Famers, you know, some some of you probably know their names. Uh, others are people that you might not have ever heard of, but they're all very important in, you know, the what I call the, the overall tapestry of the game, the history of the game. So this is the first card, I believe, or maybe not. Okay. Um, I might have messed up a little bit. All right. Uh, here we have uh, Cool Papa Bell, which was uh, a favorite of mine. Uh, Alex Radcliffe. And Frank Leland, the owner of the Leland Giants. Uh, is another one of Cool Papa Bell with uh, the St. Louis Stars in 1928. Um, Henry McHenry for the Philadelphia Stars. Good old Elston Howard, uh, the first African-American to play for the uh, New York Yankees. Uh, came up with them in 55, uh, was his first year, I believe. Nap Gully with the Seattle Steelheads. Ah, some guy named uh, Jack Roosevelt Robinson. Never heard of him. Uh, this, one was, uh, this one was fun to do. Uh, this is him in his uh, 1945 road uniform with the Kansas City Monarchs. Uh, your Satchel Page, Frank Warfield. Now, I should tell you guys, you might be interested to know that uh, each of these portraits, you know, took about, like, in terms of, uh, in terms of researching and, you know, drawing them out and then painting them, they, uh, each one would take about six to eight hours, kind of depending on the complexity of the image. Uh, some of them are a little bit easier than others, so, like, this one of, of, uh, this one of Home Run Johnson is uh, wasn't terribly hard because you just kind of have this figure there uh, and just kind of a a, a, a blank sky. Uh, so that probably was one of the the quicker ones, just in terms of painting time. But there are others that are, are definitely more complicated and probably could have taken closer to ten hours. Uh, so I I don't know what that actually ends up being, you know, total wise, but I'd say there were about, I don't know, uh, at least 1500 hours of work on these, uh, and the set is uh, 184 cards. So that's a lot of life. Uh, we are Fats Jenkins. 
Oh, Monty Irvin with the Newark Eagles in 1939. This card I uh, I love, and I, I loved painting this portrait. I, I just love the Eagles uniform. I feel like in, in the 1940s, uh, it was kind of plain. It was just kind of like a simple cream color with, you know, a, a blue eagle swoosh kind of uh, on the front jersey. And this one was different. This was from 1939 and just had little intricate things going on and different reds that uh, that were incorporated into the uniform, both kind of in the lettering and the trim and the N on the hat. Uh, and I also just really love uh, Monty Irvin. So that was a plus. Ah, uh, Louis Tiant. Ah, uh, yeah, this one was a lot of fun, too. I just, I loved being able to paint, uh, paint Louis Tiant. He was such an important uh, player in uh, Cuban baseball history, and obviously his son uh, did very well in the big leagues. Josh Gibson uh, with Santursi Cangrejeros, which is, uh, I think, Crabbers. Uh, Newt Allen. Hallie Harding. Sorry if there's a little glare here. I'm going to try to make sure that there isn't too much. Uh, Alex Pompez. Uh, a nice Rube Foster. Him with the Royal Poinciana uh, team, which was basically like a, a Florida hotel team that a lot of people in his, uh, of his era played for. People like uh, Pete Hill and uh, Foster. and Very cool. Uh, card number 23. This is... Uh, this is a cool one. This is a Satchel Page and Josh Gibson kind of posing for photographers before the uh, the Negro League World Series in 1942. Uh, I always like this image. Ted Double Duty Radcliffe, classic with the Bismarcks in 1935. Jose Munoz, Pete Hill. This card was also one of uh, my favorites. This painting was one of my favorites. I, I just, I love Pete Hill's face. And I, I know that that Pete Hill uh, was known to have pretty dark skin. So I just kind of imagined him being, you know, on a ball field and like an overcast day. And you can kind of see, uh, you can kind of see his skin reflecting uh, a lot of the, um, a lot of the sky back into, uh, you know, like the purples and, and lavenders just showing up on his skin so nicely. Perucho Cepeda, Orlando's dad, Gino Moran, Louis Santop, Suttles, Luis Padron, Satchel Page, William Binga, Jelly Roll Gardner, Vertil Mathis, Tubby Scales, Goose Tatum, Ah, uh, Jose Mendes, one of my favorites. Frank Duckin, Satchel Page with the Birmingham Black Barons. Cool Papa Bell. Cool Papa Bell again. Gus Greenlee, Artie Wilson, Cannonball Jackman. A lot of beautiful cards here. They did a, a really wonderful job with the set. Martin Dago, Bill Foster, which is Rube Foster's, I think, half-brother. Uh, Clint Thomas, Chet Brewer, Josh Gibson. Topeka, Jack Johnson, Billy Williams, Walter Ball, Roy Campanella, Turkey Stearns, the great power hitter. Very underrated. Jackie Robinson with the 45 Monarchs. Ah, Hank Thompson. This was a lot of fun to paint, too. I just love the expression on his face and the, the Dr. Pepper uh, advertisement in the background. Uh, Turkey Stearns with the Kansas City Monarchs. Uh, Lazaro Salazar, Bill Gatewood, Sam Streeter, Dobie Moore, Slim Jones, Cumberland Posey, Alejandro Ohms, uh, C.I. Taylor, Ashby Dunbar, Vic Harris. Love the look on his face in this card. Billy Perkins, Pop Lloyd, John Donaldson, the legendary pitcher, Satchel Page. Cristobal Torriente, loved him too. Judy Johnson, Hilton Smith, Wild Bill Wright, Ghost Marcel, uh, Henry Lewis Aaron with the Indianapolis Clowns. Wow, oh, very cool. Roy Campanella, Bullet Rogan, uh, one of my favorites uh, to play in the Negro Leagues. Quincy Troop, William Lambert, Henry Kimbrough. 
Newt Joseph, William Edward White, uh, considered by a lot of people to be the first person to break that color barrier. Rube Foster, Connie Morgan, Eddie Dwight, Terrace McDuffie, Silvio Garcia, Cannonball Dick Redding, Willie El Diablo Wells, also one of my favorites. Bill Bird, Oscar Charleston, considered by many to be one of the best players of all time in the white or black leagues. Larry Doby, Leroy Matlock, uh, George Shively with the West Baden Sprudels, Jimmy Claxton, Ben Taylor, Rap Dixon, Sam Jethro. Let's do this this way. Uh, Nip Winters, Candy Jim Taylor, Gervasio Gonzalez, Andy Cooper, Mike Gonzalez, uh, Charles Thomas, Rube Foster, like we saw in the box, Moses Fleetwood Walker with the Syracuse Stars. Felton Snow with the Baltimore Elite Giants. Josh Gibson. Rube Foster. Ramon Braganya. Dave Malakar. Sammy Hughes. Bill Cash. Oh, Webster McDonald. Biz Mackey. Minnie Minoso. Bingo Damas. Pancho Coimbre. Cool Papa Bell. Tank Carr. Another guy named Josh Gibson. <laughs> the same guy. George Williams. Satchel Page with the Baltimore Black Sox. Uh, the unknown player with Brown's Tennessee Rats. To kind of represent all of the unknown players from the Negro Leagues over the years that, that we just don't know about and we can't identify. Frank Wickware. Uh, Schoolboy Griffith. Crush Holloway, Smokey Joe Williams, Neil Robinson, Satchel Page, Spot Poles, Saul White, Bud Fowler, Judd Wilson, Bill Pettis, Ray Brown, William Clarence Matthews, Pete Hill, Willard Brown, John Beckwith, Bill Holland, Rube Foster with the Leland Giants in 1909, Edgar Wesley, Dave Brown, Louis Diles, Effa Manley, the only uh, woman inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame, owned the Newark Eagles, Bruce Petway, Gino Smith, Ditello Vargas, Jackie Robinson, Oscar Heavy Johnson, Doc Sykes, Frank Grant, Esteban Bayon, Leon Day, Home Run Johnson again, uh, the great Buck O'Neill with the Kansas City Monarchs in 1942. Wish I could have met him. Jimmy Lyons, Josh Gibson with the Homestead Grays in 1931. Octavius Cato, Ed Bolden, Estacio Pedroso, Sam Bankhead, Regino Garcia, Tony Stone, Bill Monroe, Dick Lundy, oh, Ray Dandridge, Chappie Johnson, Red Ryan, Satchel Page, Roy Partlow, Buck Leonard, Buck O'Neill, J.L. Wilkinson, uh, Hurley McNair, Peanut Johnson, Dick Say, Charlie Grant, Cool Papa with the Homestead Grays in 1943. Dizzy Dismuke with uh, the Indianapolis ABCs and Buck O'Neill. Oh, nice print of uh, Jimmy Claxton, the Z-Nut card. Very cool stuff. So this was a lot of fun. Uh, probably went longer than I expected it to go, but uh, this is definitely a lot of fun. And uh, you guys should definitely uh, go pick this uh, set up if you can. Uh, you can find them at uh, NegroLeaguesHistory.com. Uh, again, it's 184 cards, and a uh, portion of uh, the proceeds goes back to the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum as well as uh, uh, estates of uh, various players. Uh, so uh, enjoy.